it again. Stupid cat, don't let me catch you. Give it 
chocolate a hand in melting faster. another 30 minutes for baking. like a sofa now. Wrap the sofa using fondant. it done. Stop trying to damage it again. Trust or dare? Trust. What's your favorite YouTube channel? Right. It's Tiny Cakes. Dare. Let's make the most creative rainbow cake. Okay. Let's make the cake together. Okay, let's go. Every morning, as the sun's first rays painted the sky with hues of pink and orange, Lily would be found gazing out her bedroom window in wonder. She dreamt of chasing rainbows and unraveling their mysteries. She often told her parents, one day, I'll find where rainbows touch the earth and bring their magic to our town. But it wasn't just rainbows that held Lily's heart. Chocolate, in all its forms and flavors, was a close second. She would spend afternoons in her family's cozy kitchen, experimenting with cocoa, sugar, and other delightful ingredients. She believed that chocolate was the secret to happiness, and her creations were shared with the townsfolk, who couldn't help but smile at the delicious treats she conjured. Lily's heart raced with excitement. Without a second thought, she grabbed an umbrella and dashed outside, following the rainbow's graceful curve through fields and over hills. Her journey led her to a quaint little meadow, where the rainbow seemed to touch the ground. As she reached the end of the rainbow, she discovered a hidden treasure beneath the canopy of emerald leaves. There nestled among the flowers was a chocolate fountain, glistening with rich, velvety chocolate. It was as if the rainbow had transformed into a fountain of cocoa dreams. Lily dipped her finger into the flowing chocolate and tasted its perfection. It was the most exquisite chocolate she had ever encountered. 
filled with joy, she decided to share her discovery with the town, bringing the magical chocolate fountain to life during their annual summer fair. From that day on, Lily's town became famous for its chocolate fountain, drawing visitors from near and far. Lily had indeed found where rainbows touched the earth, and she had shared their magic with everyone she met. And so, in the heart of that charming town, the love of rainbows and chocolate continued to bring smiles and wonder to all who tasted the sweet joy of life. Tada! It's time to enjoy our cake! Wow, it's really beautiful! Yes, yes! Hi guys, it's Lucy! Welcome to my channel! Today, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chocolate cake. It's easy to make, and it's sure to satisfy your sweet tooth. Let's start by making the fondant. Roll the fondant into small balls. You can make them any size or shape you want. I'm going to melt some cake cats. I'm going to use them in the cake batter. They'll add a delicious chocolatey flavor. Now, it's time to make the cake batter. I'm going to combine milk, eggs, sugar, butter, flour, and the melted cake cats. I'm going to mix it all together until it's smooth. Once the batter is mixed, I'm going to pour it into a grease and floured cake pan. After the cake is baked, I'm going to let it cool completely. with a chocolate frosting. This is the perfect way to finish off this delicious cake. Now it's time to decorate the cake. I'm going to use these fondant to create a pattern on the top. I'm going to alternate between brown and white, just like a checkerboard. Let your creativity shine through. You can decorate your cake however you like. And that's it! My chocolate cake is finished! I hope you enjoyed this recipe! Thanks for watching! Oh my goodness! 
Look at all this fruit. I need to find a way to use it all up. First, we need to chop up the fruit into small pieces. I'm going to use strawberries, mangoes, kiwis, and blueberries. If you don't have all of these fruits, you can use whatever you have on hand. Just make sure to use a variety of colors to get a beautiful rainbow effect. Now, we're going to add the fruit to a blender with some water. Butterfly pea flowers. Butterfly pea flowers are a type of tropical flower that turns blue when it's steeped in hot water. We're adding gelatin to the milk. We don't want any lumps, so we'll heat it up a bit. Just enough to get it smooth, not too hot, not too quick. All right. Now it's time to add the gelatin to our fruit purees. Let's be careful. Now, we're ready to pour the fruit puree into the cups. I'm going to start with a purple layer. Then I'm going to add a layer of milk to balance things out. And I'm going to end with a layer of red. Now, we're going to put the molds in the fridge to set. This will take about 30 minutes. Once the TH is set, we can start decorating it. I'm going to use some whipped cream and sprinkles. You can use whatever decorations you like. Just be creative and have fun. And that's it. We've made a delicious and beautiful rainbow jelly. These eggs are amazing. I need to make a cake with them. So let's get started. Grab your mixing bowls, crank up the good vibes, and let's paint the oven with rainbow magic. Now, gather the rest of our sugary squad. Egg, flour, ready to dance a fluffy jig, and a sprinkle of vanilla for that oh so satisfying whisper of sweetness. Don't forget the melted chocolate. All right, folks, it's time to talk about the magic of baking. We'll need to get our egg whites nice and fluffy. To do that, we'll need to beat them on high speed until they form stiff beads. Then gently fold and soften butter, like a pat of sunshine melting into a dreamy cloud. Divide the frosting into six bowls and add a different food coloring to each. We're talking about fiery red, sunset orange, grassy green, sky blue, and maybe even a touch of mystical purple. Now, grab your trusty cake and slice that beauty into three even tiers. To 
unleash some icy fury with a layer of white frosting. Okay, it's time to get creative. Let's turn this rainbow cake into a real work of art. Now that we have our rainbow frosting ready to go, it's time to start decorating. Let your imagination run wild. This is your canvas, your rainbow masterpiece. Step back, admire your handiwork, and bask in the pure enjoy of this rainbow cake masterpiece. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Let your baking spirit shine through and have fun. It's gonna be mine. Look, an UFO. Where? 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 Where's the UFO? Where's the cake? I got trick. Let's make one ourselves. Hands on deck, let's go. this, move on to the eggs. Put them together and mix. We'll need an oven right after this. Mix a touch of buttercream for a watermelon shape. Take a Mac over now. Carve the cake into a round shape. Applying watermelon color, put on a base layer. Real deal, watermelons need seeds. Join 
join me for a taste of the watermelon cake. I'm really curious about its taste. Smells and tastes like juicy watermelon. What a beautiful day! Rock, paper, scissors. Sure. Let's play. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, I won. Should we make a cake today? Sure, let's make it together. Let's go. Hi, friends. I have a great story for you. In a faraway valley nestled between rolling hills, there existed a unique garden known as the Rainbow Blooms. It was said that the flowers in this garden possessed a magical quality. They could change their colors with the emotions of those who tended to them. An elderly woman named Eliza had cared for these extraordinary flowers for decades. Her heart was as colorful as the blooms she nurtured, and her garden was a testament to her boundless love and empathy. Each day, she tended to her rainbow-colored flowers, whispering stories of hope and laughter to them. One summer, a young boy named Leo stumbled upon the garden while chasing a vibrant butterfly. As he approached, he noticed the flowers shifting colors, matching the curiosity and wonder in his eyes. Mesmerized, Leo spent hours in the garden, sharing his dreams and aspirations with the blossoms. Word of the rainbow blooms soon spread throughout the valley, attracting people from near and far. They came to pour their hearts out to the flowers, seeking solace, joy, and understanding. And in return, the blooms would change their colors, reflecting the emotions they absorbed. Over time, the valley transformed into a place of love and harmony where people learn to share their feelings openly and connect with one another. The garden became a symbol of unity, a reminder that even in a world of ever-changing emotions, the colors of understanding and compassion could bridge any divide. And so, the rainbow blooms continued to flourish their vibrant hues a testament to the power of empathy and the beauty that can bloom when hearts intertwine. This is our cake for today! Wow! Amazing! Let's try it together! Thank you. 